without further delay I'm going to do the video on cancer you are now tuned into 13 signs astrology dot com raw and uncut on this particular episode again I said I'm going to talk about cancer and it's been a while I've been talking about it. I'm going to do this this is actually the last sign I've done a video on every single sign besides cancer so let's talk about cancer now according to 13 signs astrology cancer starts on July the 22nd and it goes up until August the 9th so these days are the days of cancer one of the first things you're going to notice is that cancer is about it's not that long of a sign it's only about 17 16 17 days so it's one of the smaller signs and it's a water sign but cancer is very popular this is the popular sign um, believe it or not that's why a lot of people think that in Western astrology they believe they're Leo's when they're cancers they believe they're Leo's and that's because cancer and Leo are kind of similar not the same though but definitely kind of similar Leo's can be popular in one way but cancers are popular in another way and cancers are good people that's one of the def definite things I want to start out with saying they're definitely their nature is essentially good um, the thing the only way a cancer will become a negative person is because they're moody and they're emotional and cancers have a hard time with those emotions. They have a hard time mastering the energy and emotion because they are ruled by the breast and the chest area. And this is where a lot of your emotions get blocked up at as a cancer. And if you have a lot of blockages in the chest area, it's going to cause your emotions to get out of whack. So this is why a lot of times when people, the first thing they hear about cancer is that, oh, they're emotional signs. But they're not always emotional. They're really good people very sensitive psychic super psychics that's one thing about cancer they know what you're thinking men and women because they're ruled by that moon one of the best planets to be ruled by so you're they're moody but they pick up on energy a lot of times so if you come home in a bad mood talking shit don't do that around cancer because they're gonna give it right back to you they're gonna blow up on you and they go especially if they got certain placements with fire in it so they're gonna blow up on you like a mug so they're very very emotional very sensitive creatures um, you notice that cancer is ruled by the, they, one of their animal signs is the crab and the crab will pinch you they'll pinch you they bite you know <laughs> so you don't mess with the cancers or whatever but um, they're very popular they're a cardinal sign so this makes them go-getters cancers know how to get money they know how to start businesses and they know how to preserve and manage money as well um, now they are kind of similar to Leo's their ability to be successful at managing money is depending on how selfish they are a lot of times cancers are very materialistic because of their relationship to Taurus and other earth signs so they a lot of times they indulge themselves in activities when it comes to money and getting money and things like that to a point where they can't see the trees for the forest meaning that they want to start a business and all of that and make a lot of money and stuff like that but they're not like their opposite which is Capricorn See, Capricorn understands that this business has to fit into the scope of the world and it has to serve the world, whereas a cancer will start a business and they're just thinking about their self, essentially. Like, that's all they really care about is, is, is this a good business for me? Because it's a personal sign. It's one of the individual signs. Is this something that I want to do? And things of that nature. So they're good business people, but the best business for them to be in is that they're really good uh, real estate people really good real estate people a lot of them because they understand the home life um, cancer a lot of times deals with cooking a lot of cancers are good at cooking they understand the uh, domestic arts of cooking paying bills on time on a domestic level though making sure you know the water bill is paid for making sure the children are taken care of cancer women are great excellent mothers if you got a cancer mother you better love her boy cause that's a good woman for you excellent fathers very caring excellent parents it's a sign of parenting and bringing forth children and things of that nature so they're good at the domestic scene essentially this is where cancer is at home at. Um, they like if they have a party or something like that they like bringing people over to their house and have a party they like entertaining people as well good people persons cancers are very light again the only time that a cancer is going to get out of whack is if you get those emotions triggered say for instance when the kids start acting up Cancer is going to get angry like real quick. And a lot of times they don't know when to stop. 
they have a really hard time. They're like water. So they just keep moving and flowing and flowing because it's a water sign. And a lot of times the water, in order to contain it, you have to contain water and regulate water. This is where the plumbing comes in at. And you have to make sure that the pipes and things like that are connected so that the water, you won't have any leakages because the water is just going to keep flowing and moving. So everything has to be connected and run in a certain way with cancers. They're very matriarchal, even the males. Now, for a male cancer, one thing I will say is that it's not knocking male cancers, but this is kind of like a sign for a, a male that's very sensitive. I'll just say sensitive, and it can kind of like for a woman, depending on the type of men you like, you want if you want like a nice guy and a sensitive guy and a guy that you know is going to be there and cook and take care of the children and things like that. And they're go-getters too. Don't get me wrong. They're go-getters. But they could be kind of sensitive and moody and they might snap on you. And if you don't really like a moody type of individual, because a lot of, like I do consultations for women. And a lot of women when they're with cancer men, their first complaint is that he's just so moody like a woman. Or he's so, and this is because that's his nature as a cancer. He's domestic. You know what I'm saying? He's it's a feminine sign. So you can't knock a man for being that way just because he was born up under that moon. It's lunar. So you cancers, and that goes for the women too, are very much connected to the moon. When that moon is full, you just gotta know how to deal with a cancer man. When that moon is full, you, if you don't really want any conflict, be cool during the time when the moon is full. Be cool. Because they remember they go off your mood, their energy, they absorb things. So they're not gonna too much come home like a Leo, they could be moody too. A Leo will come home roaring. Like, oh, this isn't done. What's going on? And they'll just come home, like kind of start and shit. Whereas a cancer is more like passive aggressive. So I'm not saying they're hard to deal with. Like all men are emotional, have emotions, but their emotions are cancer. Men are passive aggressive because they might have something bothering them, but you had to be caring and talk to them like, and be like real, like almost like you're dealing with the baby and talk to them a certain way, especially when that moon is full. But then when the moon is, you know, lessened, and the lunar energies are lessened during the new moon times. This is a good time. Their spirit is a lot more lighter. But during those full moon times, you got to be careful with the cancer males or whatever. So, very, very sensitive. The cancer females, very, very sensitive. Now, it's good for what helps cancer is diet. More than, one of the, more than any other signs, since they like to eat and they're tied into those frequencies of the moon, and that rules their mind a lot of times, you as a cancer have to eat healthy. Your body is 90% water, so you got to drink a lot of water, energize alkaline water to keep your temple correct and to keep your energy flowing because emotions are energy in motion. And this is one of the key signs of cancer. But as long as the cancer is eating healthy, they have a decent home life, they feel loved and cared for, they have children that are in order, it's a very powerful sign. It's a very powerful sign. It's one of the more unstoppable signs of the zodiac. Um, some cancers out there are like, for instance, uh, you have Barack Obama, that's a cancer. He's a cancer born, and I forgot his birthday or whatever. So just to give you a good idea of like how cancer males are, Barack Obama's a cancer. Um, I'm trying to think of a female that's a cancer. Female, Whitney Houston is a good, good, good female that's a cancer or whatever. So that's going to give you an idea of how the cancer energy, the lunar energies operate in the males and the females. Now, many people think, well... Barack Obama's a, he's not a cancer, he's a Leo, you know, you're in the Western form of astrology, and I started the video telling you that I'm a 13th science astrologer, so I deal with the zodiac in its organic form, I don't deal with the zodiac based on the dates and what the books say, like if you go into the books and you look at cancer, they say cancers are born during a time when Gemini is, when the sun is really in Gemini, but if you get you a good map or a good solar map, you'll see that that's the time of cancer or whatever, so Barack Obama's the male cancer and he has Leo moon though. So if you see those Leo traits coming out of him, that's his Leo moon coming out. He does have a Leo moon, so he has a fire water mix. That's a strong position for a male. Um, really good. Cancers are really good politicians, believe it or not, because they they have they have the ability to sway the public. That's one thing you can't really stop with cancer. They always come back no matter what situation you put them in. They may blow up and show their emotional side, but they always come back. And they always come back pretty strong as far as being able to save their uh, public image and the way that people look at them. Like Whitney Houston, even though she had her drug problems and, you know, and she was moody, people thought she was crazy. Because cancers can kind of seem crazy. And a lot of times they are crazy. Don't get me wrong. I mean, cancer is one of the frictional signs for Leo. Like, we, 
like Leo is a cancer sometimes it's just not a good mix like we bump heads man I'm just gonna keep it real like and we have a hard time making peace with each other a lot of times because that fire that water element but um it's probably why I took so long to do this video who knows but um as far as Whitney Houston though she was like able to save her image and come back so many times no matter how a lot of people didn't like her you know what I'm saying a lot of people feel like she was crazy and you got pictures of her going off on people in malls and they, she said she was seeing demons and dead people and stuff like that and she probably was she this is because they're clairvoyant they're intuitive they're in tune with those higher sciences but they're regulated by the moon so they don't know how to control it a lot of times so cancers need to do a lot of meditating they need to spend a lot of time in the home uh, staying within self but it's a very popular sign um the cancer males and females alike are good at winning over the opposite sex and it's just a very very uh, exciting sign overall so I hope that helps you to understand cancer uh, for more information on astrology and things of that nature you should get your 13 signs natal reading and until we meet again I'm gonna leave you in namaste